a run cycle if you want, but uh, I'm just going to borrow a different animation sequences are from here and then put them together from Mixable and then put them together using Blender. So you can go to Mixable and uh, search running uh, to find a running sequence and uh, then a rolling sequence and then a jumping sequence. So you can pick any you want. So you can see we have a rolling here. I'm going to show you what I use, but uh, I'm just good. So this tutorial is basically a way to, to show you how you can blend different uh, sequences together. So after you select, you know, just select the sequences you want to use. Say you want to use this running road dive, download that. I think it's one of uh, the sequences I use here and uh, find a running sequence. I think this can work as a jumping sequence and uh, then a running sequence. So I think this would work. So download three of them and uh, import them into Blender. So this is what I have imported. You can see we have three characters. Now we're just going to merge these sequences into one so that uh, it's a seamless sequence. He starts out running and then uh, jumps and then rolls. So let's do that. So let me first separate this so that they're easily seen. Let's grab the bones, put them aside like that. So you can see these are the sequences we're going to work with. Let me, let me switch to animation. Uh, the first thing we want to do is change this, uh, split this so that we can access the nonlinear animation editor. Uh, this is a way to kind of think of it as a, a composition of your sequences uh, so you can layer different animation sequences. Uh, so each, consider every animation you see here as a sequence. So we have uh, the rolling sequence, we have the jumping sequence, and then we have the running sequence. So you can loop them by just hitting this button here. And then if you want to say, let's see, make sure you have the right character selected. Let me just undo this. I'm just going to create a fourth character. Let me turn on random colors here. I'm just going to duplicate this character. And uh, this is going to be our final guy. So he's running, but I want that run to, to loop. So I'll select the amateurs. I'll make sure you have this selection only selected visible so that you only look at the composition, the sequence of the selected object. Because right now we're see seeing all the sequences are from uh, the, all the characters. So we, you, you won't be sure you won't easily know what sequence you're looking at. So if you have this selected, you can then, it will only show you a uh, sequence of the character selected. So now if you want to convert this into something like a composition, I'll call them composition. Uh, so now you can duplicate this with shift D and uh, move that to the next kind of start of the, to the end of the first uh, thing. Then we can see we can create a continuous loop. Let me first reduce my timeline. Let me just put it like that. But you can see the problem we're having here is that uh, because in the animation, the character is actually running away from the pivot point, uh, which is here, the original point. After the loop is done, we kind of have this snap back to the original position. Uh, you don't want that. So what we're going to do is, uh, let me first delete this sequence and uh, you can go to the action editor, uh, which should be under the graph editor. Let's see. I think it's under, let's see, it's, it's supposed to be under dope sheet. Yeah, it's under dope sheet. So you find the action editor, select uh, the sequence you want to edit, right click on it and then edit split. 
and then you can hit control tab to enter uh, the curve editor now you want to find the armature or bone that is moving the character forward because that's the that is the movement that is breaking up uh, the loop so uh, the easiest way to find this is that uh, just find select everything select all bonds and i uh, should see let me expand this you should see uh, this curve here uh, you, you should see a, a, a curve that is kind of breaking away from the other curves uh, that should at least tell you what is not looping correctly so i'll just select this control if you hit l you can select the entire curve and then hit delete that uh, but make sure you're deleting it when the character is uh, still at the pivot point so if i delete that keyframe tab out of edit mode you can see the character is now running in the same position so now I'll select uh, this sequence right click uh, to stop editing it now if i duplicate this like that you can see now the character is looping correctly and uh, there is no snap movement so i can make him loop forever if i want by just duplicating those sequences uh, forever now we also need to do this for the other sequences but uh, since we already have uh, the character the origin the final character we want to use uh to add another to copy any of the movements we have here uh, we can just select the armature or bonds and uh, we can you can add under this you can add a new strip uh, but uh, if you try adding a new strip uh, you will see a list of all uh, animation sequences you have so uh, the good thing here uh, the thing you should do here is uh, first go into all of these sequences and give them correct names or easier names to reference from so I'll this is this should be called a rolling so I need to rename this to rolling I think this is jumping jumping actually it's rolling rolling and then this is jumping uh, this is the original running and uh, remember we duplicated this character so we don't need this anymore uh, since we have already looped uh, the jumping sequence so let me go back to the nonlinear editor select this now we can add the other uh, animations we want so add action strip and uh, find uh, let's add the jumping first you will notice that uh, you will get an error uh, this is because we don't have a track for the action we are trying to add or composition or sequence you, we are trying to add so we need to add a track like this or a layer uh, so you can add go to add and then add track to add another track and then add action strip and find uh, the, the strip you want to add so jump and you can see we have that now if i put that just at the back there play back you can see what we are having but i also want the jump to happen in the same position in the original position uh, this way it would make it very easy for me to control the speed of the character in case i want to make them run faster or jump faster and uh, also if i want to I can make them jump at any time or position I want them to jump. So I will again right click this, start editing streak. I uh, need to be in pause mode. So control tab to enter pause mode. Right click, start editing strip. Now control tab. Uh, make sure you have the bond selected again find the stray curve uh, so you can see this is uh, the curve controlling uh, that position so i'll just select that make sure again that uh, the position of the character is at uh, the zero mark or the pivot point and then delete that so that we get rid of that forward movement now we can stop editing this strip 
stop editing. Now we should get the jump in that exact position. Uh, we need to do uh, the roll. So after he jumps, we want him to start rolling. So again, we need to add first a track and then an add and then add uh, the strip, the action strip, uh, which is rolling. Again, he rolls away from the pivot point and uh, you want to avoid that so that you have easier control over the positioning of your character. So again, right click, edit uh, again, edit strip, Why is it not editing? Reset this. It's about. I click start editing. Okay. Again, we need to tab out and uh, remove this forward movement. Stop editing. see we get uh, that row and uh, remember this is our running just let me rename this to running so I need to go back to the action editor I need to tab the start editing this I want to rename this to running Yes, it didn't rename it, but anyway, this is our running sequence. So I can copy it again and uh, put it at the end of the rolling strip. And then he starts running again. So the problem with this rolling strip is the way it ends. You can see because it's just standing back up again, I will get that snap. Another way to a uh, way to reduce that snap is uh, by turning on blending. Uh, so if you hit N, you get this option. So if you select a strip like this, you can turn on auto blend to blend uh, the action, the this action with this action. So if I add it on this as well, there is a slight blend there, but uh, because there is a big difference between this sequence and this sequence uh, the blend doesn't really work that well so uh, the animation you're using make sure that uh, it ends better or you can go in and edit the end of this strip by uh, using your by animating these so if I right click start editing you can start posing these bones differently and put them in a more a kind of in a position uh, pose are the character ending in a more convenient position are for the start running sequence otherwise you're going to get that snap or you can start you can trim off some of the end here uh, by selecting the strip and then go under the uh, these buttons uh, animation here and you can start trimming off some of that until you find a closer part that matches your sequence and try to blend it again so are uh, there are also other options uh, in the blending uh, mode so if you scroll down you should see uh, the blending type here there is replace multiply can gives you uh, odd animations you have combined but uh, replace is usually the best to work with uh, so yeah the best way to, to work with, to kind of fix this is that to go in and uh, repose uh, this sequence the end of the sequence but uh, it will take a lot of time to do so I'm not going to do this in this tutorial but uh, anyway this is the final results of blending are the different actions you can see how the running and uh, jumping are kind of 
works really well. So we have the jumping, we have a roll, then a run again. So then to animate the character moving forward, you just, you don't even have to animate the bones, you just select the bone object, not the actual bones in bone in pose mode, but the bone object, and uh, just keyframe it moving forward. So just need to turn this into a timeline again. Select the amateur and uh, move it forward. You can see there's a bit of sliding, so you would need to play with your keyframes to make sure there is not a lot of sliding until you get the timing right. So you can see in the beginning, he's a bit sliding and then he's not as sliding as he was before. That's because if you look at the curve, it's a bit kind of, it's a Bezier curve. So it starts out slow, the, the speed is not constant. So to make it constant, I will have to change it to a vector kind of curve and see again you can also play with the timing again to, to get better results so you can unmade you can move him until he's about to jump and then when he jumps you can move him up and forward maybe and then when he starts rolling you can move him back to the ground and uh, move him forward again yeah you just need to play around with this timing and uh, basically this is how I did uh, this animation here I just added dump camera movements and a few buildings here and uh, I was good to go and see. Yeah, thanks for watching.